got something special. We got her. We also got her. We got her and her and her. There's a reason why I've been collecting these figurines. There's a reason why this this woman is interesting to me because she relates to me. If you don't know who she is, she's from the hit series Demon Slayer, Shinobu Kocho. That's her full name. And uh, you know, you've seen like videos of her, like you know, in those websites, um, the the triple X, the the P word, um, those uh, animes. If you know what I'm talking about, there's something special about her. So I, I found the the greatest figurine ever from the great company Good Smell. So today we're reviewing the Figma. This expensive, I don't know, like 80 bucks, expensive of a figurine. Oh my gosh, look, look how beautiful. Uh, I already damaged the box. That's on me, I apologize. But look at this, this is like the best company that makes these figurines. Oh, uh, no, there's like a best part about this. Look at that, it opens just like that my gosh i already damaged the box but the but the inside of the box is still gorgeous look at her wrapping plastic and chemicals and, and 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 paint and from the company that has that i, I don't know where, where it's made of probably china but oh my gosh look at her that's her name right there look at that beautiful and now i'm gonna ruin this box by opening this monstrous of a beautiful box there she is out of the plastic container of a box out of cardboard look at this there's so many pieces and there's more extra pieces right here all right let's open this baby up oh my gosh she's so beautiful she looks like chica from finance of freddy she looks like an animatronic I don't know, she looks like a fucking uh, uh, Freddy Fazbear. Um, but yeah, this is what you get. If you order it online, you get a fancy, I don't know what's inside of this bag. We're gonna check later though. Ooh, we're gonna check later. But anyways, what I was saying, uh, uh, there's a lot of plastic and tape. That's the only downside of that product. But overall, look at that. Now let's change perspective right now. Watching my point of view, I mean, it looks horrible. I mean, I mean, it looks amazing. It looks amazing, not horrible. It, it looks amazing. I apologize. But look at that. She moves a lot. You can move her arms. You know, people like doing these in the videos. I mean, the joints. You know, she, she can do a super kick, back flip, you know. Oh no, <laughs> not the head. Oh my God. So they give you two faces. Oh, sorry about that. They give you two faces, her like, you know, her recognizable pose, you know, her face, you know, the, the natural face she has. And then she got the, you know, the, the ones you put them in a, in a jar and, and, and you do whatever you want with it. You know, you know what I'm saying? If, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Now she's ready to go in a jar. I'm gonna put it in a jar. I'm joking, I'm not those type of guys. But that's how she looks like without the face. Has a little, some of them don't, some, some do have them, some don't. It's this little piece. All you have to do is put it in a set right here. Just like that. Put it right in there. And now she has a face. A little face now. And now she looks like a human being again. Look at that. She comes with two swords. Uh, one it looks like she is in a holster and the other one doesn't. Sadly you can't take it off the holster. It's like that, you know part of the act and then here's a I forgot the name of the sword I apologize I, I really apologize but if you can see here is this how they do it yeah there we go as a little uh, sign I, I can't understand Japanese um, also comes with the butterflies you know her her famous thing about her is her butterflies now let, let's do some pose Another thing I forgot, you can also remove her hands. You know, she can be holding a gun for this one. This one right here, or her sword, my bad. Uh, like, you can add like stuff to it, you know. You can remove her hands. For example, I'm gonna take this hand and just make her, uh, there we go. 
put it inside of that little hole. Make her feel like she's holding a, a sword. Pretty badass, you know. She like whipping and fighting. You know, you can do whatever. Oh, there it goes again. All right. Now let's do some pose. Now here's the famous part of the set. You know, the the plate. You know, it has these little holes so you can connect them. So she can be like, she looks like she's flying or or add like a scene to it. You know. Um, it also comes with this one. This is like the most important piece because you put it behind her. If you don't, it's gonna ruin. The hole is gonna get ruined. This is this special piece that you need for the hole? I'll show you what I mean. Just incredible. It's like I'm watching the show right now. Look, look what you can do. So the hole I was talking about is this one behind her uh, back. That's what you need it for. If, if you don't use it, it's gonna you know get ruined but uh earlier i said i have something special they gave me an extra bag so let's open. they gave me more plastic that's what i hate however it's a little scene so i'm gonna see if i can display it right now incredible amazing like i said it's it's like i'm, I'm watching the show right now that's what it is it's just a background nothing special it's plastic oh there it goes oh before i forget if you see this little peg, there's a little hole, so she looks like she's holding her another weapon. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look, now she's now she's dancing. She's dancing. But yeah, the figmas are pretty cool. Um, I just wish they had it like extra arms so I can remove the thing. I wonder if I can remove it. Let's see if we can. So Sally, you can't. Um, this is what you get in general. Also like a booklet, but it's all Japanese. Also English, but I already know. I have like four other Figmas that I own, so I kind of know how, how this stuff works. But yeah, there's the background. There's everything you get. That's basically it. Do I recommend buying it? It's up to you, dog. If you're a fan of Demon Slayer, probably. But if you have like, I don't know, $90, $80 around, um... I would recommend it. I mean, it's pretty cool for a display. I mean, you can play around with it, if you know what I'm saying. Just don't put it in a jar. But that's it overall. Pretty good figurine. But yeah.